Indians, Natives, Indigenous people, American Indian First Nations Aboriginals. Every year, people seem to be ever more confused by these various terms. So here's a handy geographical guide. The term indigenous people simply refers to anyone who lived somewhere before European colonization. There are indigenous people all over the world, including Scandinavia, Australia, the Pacific, and the Americas. Anthropologists refer to everyone from North and South America collectively as Amerindian. It's kind of an awkward term that you don't hear very often, mostly because of how vague and over-inclusive it is. What do the Incans, Navajo, and Inuit have in common, aside from living in the Western Hemisphere? Because of that ambiguity, most countries have adopted their own labels that are a bit more specific to their region. In the continental United States, the preferred term to this day is still American Indian. Native American didn't come about until the 1960s and 70s, around the same time as African American and Asian American. Many American Indians explicitly rejected the new label, viewing it as an attempt by white Americans to erase their identity. That said, it has gained more acceptance over the decades, and you'd honestly be fine using either term. There are three distinct groups of native peoples in the United States, making up 574 federally recognized tribes. American Indians in the contiguous 48 states make up the majority in terms of population, but about half of the federally recognized tribes belong to the Alaska natives. The third group are the Native Hawaiians, the only indigenous people in the United States without a recognized tribe or reservation. It's more of an ethnic identity than a legal or political status. In Canada, the preferred blanket terms are Aboriginal or Indigenous peoples. Much like the United States, they also consist of three distinct groups. The one you're most likely familiar with are the First Nations, which are pretty comparable to American Indians in the United States. There are 634 recognized bands who have signed treaties and have their own governments and land reserves. In the north, you'll find the Inuit and their 53 different communities. They're part of the same cultural and language group as the Alaska Natives, but live in Canada. Neither of these two groups go by the term Eskimo anymore, which was a colonial term forced upon them. The final group in Canada are the Métis, a group of people with mixed ancestry, primarily French and First Nations, who mostly live in the Prairie Provinces and have their own distinct culture. This is sort of the Canadian equivalent to the Mestizo in Mexico and Latin America, a group of people with mixed Spanish indigenous heritage. All that said, whenever you're able to, it's always preferred that you refer to an individual as being from a particular nation, such as Lakota or Cherokee. If you're ever confused about what to call someone, just ask. Nobody will ever get mad at you or make fun of you, I promise. This video is a short footnote to my larger video on Indian removal. Make sure you check it out if you haven't already. If you'd like to become an enrolled member of the Knowing Better band, head on over to patreon.com slash knowingbetter, or for a one-time donation, paypal.me slash knowingbetter. Don't forget to colonize that subscribe button or the join button if you want to fully assimilate. Check out the merch at knowingbetter.tv, follow me on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram, and join us on the subreddit.